All right, so we got a brand new drill bit right out of this strong arm kit. These are the original strong arm drill bits. These are probably, in my opinion, the best drill bits that you can possibly buy for safe work. Extremely sharp, extremely strong, really good brazing, high quality carbide, sharpened at the tip. This is, if I had one drill bit to drill a safe with, this would be it. However, that doesn't work on GSA Red Label hard plate. What we have here is the box from a GSA container. You can see it's impregnated with all kinds of nasty stuff here. They, I assume they have these trays. You can see these trays, okay? And then they heat that molten material up and then put in extremely hard materials such as carbides, carbide matrix, ceramics, all kinds of nasty stuff to make this very, very, very unpleasant to drill. So I'm gonna give a demonstration here of what a brand new best drill bit that you can possibly buy on the planet right now, carbide, does to this, and then we'll move into some diamonds and some other things. So let's get started. Love strong arms to death, but on this red label stuff, they're just no match. Okay, that's all the further that we're getting. And then here pretty soon, we can probably run this right up until that drill bit fails. So I'm gonna tighten this chuck up just a little bit and we'll really give it some pressure here and see if we can make this drill bit explode. But I think that's about as far as we're gonna get. And again, these are the original strong arm bits, not the SA2s. And our carbide is all gone. Check this out here. gonna be really hot Whew, it is really hot let me grab some gloves burn brain cells no all right so let's pick this up okay we can see totally and completely destroyed and decimated that drill bit right there okay carbide's all gone you're not getting any further with that drill bit so what do we do well let's switch over to diamond all right so now we've got one of these milwaukee diamond core bits now if you look at the comparison between the diamond grit from a standard diamond core bit and these ones, you'll see that the diamond is much more abundant, much thicker, and I mean, just look at that. Look at how thick that is over there, and look at how much grittier it is than these here. So we're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison. You can see we've got one loaded up in there right now, and we're gonna see how that works. Now, I'm a fan. This is the only time I use lubricant, and the only reason I use it is to flush the material out. Okay, you want a light lubricant, this super slick stuff seems to work pretty good. For me, you want something that will flush it out and not become gooey and sticky. Grease is not a good idea, no grease. Light lubricant, even like a WD-40 or something would probably work fairly well. So I'm gonna try and get this right on the edge so we can actually follow it as it drills down through this, okay? Alrighty, let's get this checked up and see what it can do. It out. And all I'm doing is going to be flushing out the material and look at already. You can see that it's cutting into it right there. Okay. I'm actually going to try and bring this camera back over here so we can see through this other side and you can actually get the view that I have on this back side right here because I'm intentionally drilling right along this side so we can watch the progress as we go all the way through it. Then I'm gonna hit it with another. And all that's doing is blowing the material out of the way. So you can see that we've already made more penetration in just a few seconds with that diamond grit bit than we did with all of the other stuff combined. Alrighty, let's get these things going. Now, I have personally been using these for a little bit now and finally got around to documenting it. 
I wanted to show side by side how these things really compare because it is absolutely impressive how cool these bits really are and how well they work. If you're interested in purchasing these, at the end of the video there will be a QR code that you can scan with your phone. If you're watching on a computer, just hit pause, scan it with your phone, and it'll take you right to an Amazon link where you'll pay the exact same price. However, I do get a small commission because I am an Amazon affiliate. It just helps me out for doing the research and putting on these free videos. I'll tell you right now that this video probably cost me about 50 bucks worth of drill bits or more to make just to give you an idea of how much these demonstrations cost so please if you can support the team I would greatly appreciate it okay so there you have it hole drilled all the way through I kind of intentionally drilled it right on the edge so that we could see what was happening as it was drilling through so that we have an accurate comparison for the other bits now the main thing I want to focus on is look at that drill bit you can see that the grit is still very much intact. Now we're going to switch over to what would be considered the industry standard um, diamond hole saw for GSA work. So you can buy these through a few different manufacturers. Uh, there's a couple off brands, but the main idea is it's got a rigid ed and a very thin layer of diamond dust applied to the tip and down the sides. One of the biggest complaints that I have is that there's more diamond on the side than on the tip. And the tip, or the edge, is the only thing that's actually cutting. So with that in mind, Milwaukee had a great concept of putting all of the diamond right at the work area. Alright, so we've got... We just took this one out. You can see there's no diamond left. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it actually looks like. Okay, no diamonds left. And we're only about halfway down through the hole. You can see, if you compare the two, we're only down about that far. Not very far at all. So we're gonna have to load up another bit. This is bit number two. And again, that's why we're gonna take a look and we're gonna compare that diamond to the diamond grid on this this Milwaukee bit, we can still use this again. In fact, I'm gonna use it to failure on here. I'm gonna keep drilling holes until it finally fails. Okay, so we're gonna check up the second bit, more conventional style. I'm not gonna name names. People know where these things come from. And we're gonna continue to roll down and drill down. Now you can see the technique with diamonds is not a lot of pressure and a lot of lubricant and flushing that material out. That is definitely the case uh, with the with this style here. I found drilling with the Milwaukee's I could actually put a pretty significant amount of force, downward force on them. They're nowhere near as delicate as these bits were. So that's why you can drill faster with the Milwaukee's. There we are. Now we're through it. Okay. Cool. So it took it took one drill bit of the Milwaukee's to drill through this side over here and it's still very good and we can still use this on other jobs. It destroyed the first drill bit and took a second drill bit to get the second hole down into the other side. So right there that just goes to show this drill bit is way more durable than the current industry standard here. Also, if you need to get more depth with these drill bits, you can simply jump up in size, like so, and you can add these extensions, okay? So you would be able to add, drill the skin of the safe thicker or wider here to meet this up to 5 16ths or 3 8 and then, I believe it's 3 8 and then you'd be able to attach whatever sized attachment you needed to it and be able to go ahead and get that down to the work area wherever you need it. So I'm going to chuck this same bit that we just used to drill that first hole up again, and we're going to continue to drill holes in this and just basically run it till failure. All right, now we're drilling the front side of this, and 
I wanted to put a little extra, I wanted to push the limits of it and see how much we could do. You can see we're still getting material out of there. Every time we come in and out of that hole, you can see that a dust begins to build up around the work area and then we flush it away with that lubricant and it goes away. Now I got a little heavy handed and as soon as you saw red right there, it instantly heated up to the point where the bonding material failed. If you'd like to purchase these, again, I do use my own funding to do all these experiments and testing for you. If you use that Amazon affiliate link, I sure